Well, good morning, everybody. It's March 14th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. How's everyone doing today? If you would, please like and subscribe. Help me out here. Work very hard. I do the best that I can. Not that that deserves likes or subscribes. And leave comments. I love reading the comments. I love reading the comments. But yeah, so we are getting some rain finally. This is the beginning of the rainstorm in Big Bear. So I thought we would do a, a short drive until it really starts to pick up later. And then we'll do a little bit heavier of a drive. Yeah, this is quite unfortunate. I mean, for all, all you snow lovers, this is not what we want to see for our resorts. And I've heard from a few friends who work at the resorts that they're already sending people home for the year. So that's not a good sign. Not a good sign. What do we have here? Oh, pothole fixtures. Yeah. Potholes. Yeah, boy. Good, good for them. That's what we're talking about. So how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm a little disappointed because, I mean, I know the conditions de deteriorated in terms of the skiing and snowboarding, but I was really hoping that there'd be a lot more people coming up here these past few days since, since we're back open. But no, it hasn't happened like that. Quite a bummer. So if you continue going straight on this road, you guys, you're going to end up at a place that I suggest as a free sledding location. For those of you who do not want to pay, I guess that's what would, would, that's what free would be, right? If you don't want to pay, I mean. This is balsam. This road's like a big circle. So we're gonna just take this road, check out some of these, these homes in this area. We'll check out the snow in this area, but you can just see it's, I mean, I'll bet you guys more than 50% of this snow is gonna be gone after tomorrow. Cause we got some, some pretty heavy rain coming through. It's not gonna be as, as much uh, as you know, Mammoth or Yosemite and those areas north of us are going to be receiving, but it's going to be enough to uh, to really make this snow not fun. And once again, I I hate saying that, you guys, because we we need the tourism. We need you guys to come up here and spend money and and come have a great time. So you'll want to come back. But unfortunately. This is, this is life. I gotta be honest with you guys. Because being, being dishonest is not going to allow you guys to make a decision to come back. You guys are not even going to want to come up. If you guys come up here now and, sp and spend an absolute fortune, you're not going to have a, a, 
a good time skiing, I don't think. And I do, I do want you guys to come back. Did you guys know that less than 15% of people ever return to the Big Bear area? Less than 15%. I know you guys think I must be totally wrong there because I thought I was wrong too. Less than 15% ever return after their first visit. But when I was working for Bear Mountain during our orientation, that was a 30 minute portion of the orientation was talking about what they refer to as the Big Bear Way, which is just how, like, how to treat people and uh, doing what we can to give you guys the best experience possible. Which for me is all common sense stuff. I mean, they spent 30 minutes too long on that 30 minute segment. But uh, yeah, there are just so many different issues that come into play um, that make it so people do not want to come back up here. But it's a horrible number. <laughs> um, most businesses would never survive with 15% return rate from first time customers but we do because from Santa Barbara to San Diego what there's like 30 plus million people or about that it's just it, it's a bummer but a lot of it has to do with a lot of you guys coming up here um, the conditions are not what are stated to be it's not as good as everyone says prices are astronomical especially during these snowy conditions and where what 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 am i doing here okay i, I, I gotta these streets obviously with all all this snow still are a pain in the butt but yeah, guys, there was issue after issue on why people didn't come back up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, I was just uh, a pain in the butt in people's way. But it seems like that's what I do. I get in people's way sometimes up here, and I'm not trying to do that on purpose. I know they're trying to work without any interruption, but... So am I, because I'm trying to help you guys get you guys as much info as I possibly can. What a nice view from up here. I can see through the trees very well. I don't, I'm looking through the camera. It's not really as great of a view as I feel I can see with my bare eyes. My bare eyes. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Yeah, you guys also uh, don't forget that in these videos I've been posting a link uh, that destination Big Bear I believe they are the biggest lodging company if that's the proper word uh, or, or term uh, in the area um, owner seems like such a neat dude and he wants to do what he can to give you guys the best experience possible and so by doing a bunch of giveaways and stuff like that and trying to make things free for you guys uh, he's doing his best and I love seeing that because once again a lot of people don't return up here because when they get here they're blown away with prices on everything a hotel that that might be like 79 per night if we get like a decent snowfall, they, they might try to charge you 300. And I just, I, I understand the tourism aspect. It's just, that's, that's not fair. 
that's not fair, especially because uh, without you guys, these hotels don't exist. Once again, I totally understand the tourist aspect. I lived on the big island of Hawaii for a while. And, uh, I mean, they, it was just hotel and resort after hotel and resort. Golf course after golf course because uh, that's how they made the bulk of their money out there. I'm just screwing it, screwing everybody up. I recognize that guy. Alright. Good job you guys doing these potholes. You guys rock. to get back but as, as I said it's going to be a short little drive so your first street you can come up to here on the left hand side once you get to this point is called Willow and we're going to take a left on Willow so if this traffic is just full right here all the way to the roundabouts this is another, another little shortcut to get further down into Lower Moon Ridge. You just take this, it curves to the right up here at, at the end, just follow it around and go all the way until you end up at the first roundabout. That was another thing that a lot of people were appalled by when they come up here is how long it takes to get places because when it snows i mean we have a permanent full-time situation here of probably between eight to ten thousand residents between big bear lake and big bear city and when it snows we go up to a quarter million at least for like decent snowstorms and you can imagine the pressure that puts on the people up here but but once again that's that's what makes this town thrive is snowfall and ha and then you guys coming up here so you would think after so many years doing this that we would have figured it out but not we we haven't not not as well as i think we should have figured this out i i told you guys i was going to open up um, a bed and breakfast eventually if this channel keeps on growing and it's going to cater specifically for you guys you guys are always going to get the first choice um, we're not going to price gouge anybody I'm going to take care of you guys as I said click on that link for Destination Big Bear because he wants to help as much as he, he possibly can the owner and by saving you guys a lot of money like that as I said free stays up here and um, ski lift tickets, annual passes, just stuff that is not cheap, you guys. Nick is hooking it up. He's a, he's a, he's a great dude. All right. So we're back on Moon Ridge. As I said, a little bit later when it picks up, we're going to head back out and do what we do. But for right now, that's going to be it. And sorry, guys, I am really tired right now. But uh, I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the beautiful comments. You guys are very special to my heart. I love reading the comments. Um, if you guys like what I do, once again, please like and subscribe. Share the video. And, uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. And please, people, come up here. There's, there's nobody up here. I thought you guys would be up here already. We'll talk to you all later. March 14, 2023 in the Big Bear Lake, California area.